So in this problem, we're given two classes, class A and class B, and we're also given uh, some information, the mean, the median, and the mode, and we're asked which class would you enroll in. Well, on the surface, they're identical. Uh, they have the same median, same mean, and same mode. So we need some more information, and that's given to us, uh, specifically the scores of the class, class A and class B. And you can see in class A, we range from 65 to 77, so about a D to a high C. In class B, we're about 42 uh, to 100, so an E to an A. So the next thing I want to do is find the standard deviation of each class and then see which class would be better based on what you're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and use our scientific calculator. I'm going to be using the TI-30XS uh, multi-view. And it's really just one button you need to work with here, which is the data button. If you look above that in uh, yellow, you'll see stat. So if I hit second stat, then I can uh, find things like standard deviation, mean, and so on. So the first thing we'll do is put in all of our data, and I've actually already done this. Uh, it's really easy to do. So pressing data, you'll see a several lists appear. We've got list one and list two, list three, and so on. So in list one, I went ahead and put in class A scores by just simply typing in a number and pressing enter after each try. Uh, then I went over to list two, put in all the values for there as well. So the only thing we have to do is find the, the standard deviation by looking in our stat function. So I'll hit second data. Okay, and you have a couple options here. You can do one variable or two variables. Uh, let me show you what one variable would look like. It will ask you which list do you want me to look at. So if I want class A, I'll do list 1. And then just go down and calculate. And it tells us a couple things. Uh, first of all, the number of data values, which is 10 the mean, which is 71.5, which we saw. And then we have actually a couple values for standard deviation. There's a sample standard deviation and a population standard deviation. Uh, I'm assuming these are all the scores from the class, because this is what gave us all of our values for the mean, median, and mode. Uh, so this will be the population standard deviation for the class. So we'll round this, let's say, three decimal places, uh, 4.522. So this will be for class A. We we'll do the same thing uh, to find class B. We'll go back into our data, hit second data, and then we'll do list two. Now another thing we could have done is if we have two lists, we can do two variable stats. Let me show you that. And it's gonna ask, okay, which one is which? So list one for X, uh, that's irrelevant in this problem. Uh, list two we'll use as our Y. And so when it gives us values for x, they'll be list 1, and y will be list 2. Okay, so this is list 1, comma list 2. So this is x, 71.5, uh, standard deviation. Again, we already found this one. Sigma was a population standard deviation, 4.522. And then if we go a little bit further down, you'll see y, which is list 2, bar, 71.5. Again, we already knew that. And then again, I'm assuming these are all the scores, so this would be a population standard deviation. Uh, so we're looking at about 17.281. So the standard deviation is quite different for both classes. Uh, class A has a very small standard deviation compared to class B. And this is really important to understand because the larger your standard deviation, the more spread you have in your data. Uh, so even just within one standard deviation of the mean of 71.5, uh, class A doesn't move very much. Uh, let's say this is about you know 4.5-ish. Uh, so class A would be down to about you know a, a D up to about a C if we add up. Uh, 4.522. Uh, class B, just within one standard deviation, is about 17 points of a difference. So looking at a C and dropping down 17 points, you're already almost down to an E. If you add 17 points, you're up to a high B. So the spread of data is much larger in class B. So which class would you enroll in is based on what you're looking for. Uh, if I want to be in a class where I just want to pass, um, class A might be a good option here because the range of values is quite small because the standard deviation is small. If I want to be in a class where I can succeed, maybe get an A or a B, class B would be the option. But keep in mind there's a downside to that because you could also potentially fail the class uh, because again just within one standard deviation you're almost down to an E. So it's really your preference uh, based on the information. Do you want to pass or do you want to excel? Uh, so that's just a quick tutorial of how to use your scientific calculator. Uh, just as a side note, if you happen to have the TI-34, it's 
see essentially the same thing. Uh, your button is over here. Uh, so you would press data, put in all your data, uh, second data, and then everything's the same from there.